Hello. Um, I'm actually doing this video for a client of mine, and I've uh, used a whiteout box to cover to keep his uh, contact information private. That's the reason this white thing's over here to protect the privacy of uh, his client and my client. But I did this layout page here from images, and uh, you can see here. Oh, you will be able to see here that floor plan and elevations are half inch scale but I all of these are bitmap images I wanted to explain to him and to anyone else interested how I did that now the isometric views those are just images they're not scaled and commonly you wouldn't you wouldn't bother with scaling uh, bit you know isometric bitmap image views and, and I didn't but these elevations in the in the plan view <clears throat> and uh, I think this is an architectural D size sheet but they're scaled half inch scale and uh, I wanted to go through the process of how I did that these images were made in uh, I think uh, 2020 which is a, a cabinet you know kitchen design persons or cabinet makers type software and then uh, the person who made these made bitmap images to and shared them with my client and and then they were shared with me but <clears throat> to save time rather than redraw all this stuff in chief then these were just scaled and put on a chief layout sheet uh, to share with the client and it's probably it's I know it saved several hours of uh, modeling redoing all this stuff that was done in 2020 which is perfectly good and it's perfectly legible, prints out nice and so forth. <clears throat> Take a look at this floor plan. And it's perfectly legible. Perfectly, there's no reason to re redraw it again uh, in Chief Architect. But it, my client doesn't have 2020 and can just read the file, so we, we work with these bitmap images. Okay. So some of these. Let me just double click. I'll double click on this, and th these were sent to uh, these uh, elevations and plan views were sent, and these were sent to uh, Chief Architect uh, from a CAD detail window. I'm going to double click here, and you'll see there's all of those images that I sent to that layout to this layout page, and basically when I I'll go through the process again, but I I imported these images using the uh, import command. Import, whoops, import, whoops, I missed it again. Import picture. When you left click on that, you get a browse window, and I navigated to where those pictures were. In this case, uh, on my uh, convoluted computer, uh, they're not in documents. There, I keep them on another hard drive. But the point is here is not the, the complexity of my computer, but you just navigate to where the images are that you want to import. I have them in plans by software application, in this, in this case, X3. Again, that kind of complexity doesn't matter. It's just you if you're using the X3, you import the X3. That's all. If you use X4, you import the X4. If you're using... Home Designer Pro 10, and you know that's what you use. And then to this uh, client's, I guess I guess I'll have to give away some something about it because I have to navigate to the folder to show you. That's one stop, and then the client's name for one stop. One stop is uh, one of my clients, and uh, there's that client's name. So I guess I'll have to give away some of the stuff because it's here. Uh, and and here's the folder. Uh, of the images, the original images, and here's the image files. I and uh, <clears throat> see, there's that one of that uh, island. There's the one. That, there's the floor plan right there. So I'm just going to use the same window because I've already set this up, and I'll send these new ones to a a, a blank page so you can really see the process. <clears throat> but I guess I should also show that. Uh, I handled these images first in an image 
editing program. Doesn't matter that it's this one. This is an old version of PaintShop Pro, which is now no longer JASC. It's Corel PaintShop Pro. But again, that doesn't matter. I'll go here to uh, Browse. And this is for another job that I, I worked on yesterday. But just like all software ca applications on, on navigate to where I want to go, and in this case, the same one-stop folder, and uh, the client's name, and that folder there, that's where the images are. <clears throat> what I did was uh, these came in. Well, I've already cropped them. I'm not. I'm not going to crop them again and, and teach you how to use an image editing program. But I opened the, uh, like this up, and I I cropped off information that I didn't need or want to show on the layout page. And so I'm not going to do that again. But I did that using the crop tool, and you know, crop these images down to what I wanted to. I'm not going to recrop them again. I am going to send them again. But that's. There was some preparatory work that I did in the image editor, uh, setting them up so that be, they'd be nice, nice and clean when sent to layout. Now <clears throat> I'm going to go. I'm in Chief Architect. And th if you don't know what a CAD detail window is, let me. That's kind of important. Uh, I'm going to open. Um, I guess I should open this this plan here. I for, see what's the name of it. It's, one two one oh one Dormany first floor. Okay. Kind of remind myself which plan it's from. I when I double click on, on any of these uh, that are in a CAD detail window that goes right to the plan, but to show you this from start to finish, I need to show okay, that's probably I think this is the plan here. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> this is some work that I've already done on this project, but you go up to the CAD menu and it's CAD detail management or shift V. I never use that keyboard command, but you certainly could left click on that. And these are other CAD details that have been saved either into the profile plan for this client or for this, this particular plan that we're working on. I'm not going to answer that phone, and uh, it'll just ring, and then the answering service will get it. Okay, I think uh, the detail window that I created was called Images. We've seen this earlier. Oh, I didn't click Open, did I? CAD Detail Management, Images, Open. I just clicked OK, and that didn't open anything. So there's, there's that window you saw earlier with these things that I scaled. And to create a CAD detail, just in case you don't know, go to CAD, CAD Detail Management, and then click on New. And it gives you this little deal here that says Untitled. You say, you can name it whatever seems right to you. In this case, I'm doing a uh, tutorial, so I'm going to make a, a new CAD detail. And you get a blank window. It's just a blank window. We'll hit Control Tab. You go back to Plan. Control Tab on the keyboard. You go to the layout. Layout. Control Tab just takes you through various windows that are open in a Windows program. So now we're back to Images Tutorial. See, there's the name of the CAD detail, and it's over here under CAD CAD Detail Management. <clears throat> now I can go over here to File, Import. Oops. There we go. File Import picture and then it gives you a navigation uh, window and you navigate to where the pictures are that you want to import in this case it's not uh, Windows goes to my documents and like I said earlier I'm going to go to this drive where I keep my plan files and other stuff and there's the clients general folder uh, there's the, the his clients folder and then there's the pictures. Okay, I'm just going to pick one that's scalable. Now this one I wouldn't bring into a CAD detail because I'm not going to scale it. I would just send it directly to the layout. Only things that I intend to scale, find one that, scale, that would need to be scaled. These are 
me find some a little more complicated. Okay, here, this is fine. This is uh, the kitchen island for this project, and it has dimensions on it. And I, to scale things and cheap, to, well, let's do this, and this is even better. This is a wall elevation of the refrigerator wall, and we'll just open it. And you'll notice it has dimensions in it. And if I go to the dimension tool here in Chief, and well, I can check that dimension. It says 137 inches in this image. And you look in the taskbar, in Chief Architect, with this imported, it's 349 inches. So it's not true to scale in Chief. This 9-foot dimension here, 108, we'll measure that with Chief Tools. You can see it measures out in the taskbar down down here, right there. Down in the taskbar, it's 274 inches thereabouts. So that's how out of scale it is. <clears throat> so Chief Architects has provided tools for uh, scaling bitmap images. Now I click on this in the t in the uh, edit toolbar. That's this one here, the edit toolbar. There's various commands here that I can apply to the object which is uh, selected. In this case, I want to use this one. It's a resize picture. We'll left-click on that tool to make it the active tool. And then I'm going to left-click on the edge of that 137-inch dimension. Left-click. And then left-click over here carefully. You want to be as precise as you can. And there's that measurement that I kind of cursively uh, measured earlier. I need it 137 inches, and it's 347 inches. So we'll type in now 330, uh, excuse me, I misspoke, 137, 137. Okay. And it squishes, it'll squish the picture. See, now let's take a look at this. Go back to the measuring tools, and I can click on that 137. I just remember it. That I can't read it now, but I know that's what it said. Look in the taskbar, and it's, right at 137. You know, this uh, measuring tape tool is not that precise, but it's precise enough for my purposes. Now, this 9-foot dimension over here will be my next target. So we'll select the image, go back to that same tool, left-click to put it in your tool mode, left-click on one dimension point, left-click, and let's see, I believe this tick mark here would be the nine foot left click and then type in the act the value you want 108 okay and you don't get all happy and say okay well, I'm all done no my advice to you is uh, when you're scaling when you're doing anything in Chief Architect do something and then check it don't ever assume that just because you've uh, said the right prayers to the right gods that everything's well no Okay, that's pretty good. With bitmap images, you're not going to get them as accurate as uh, uh, vector items, like in AutoCAD and so forth. That's close, but that's, well, let's see. All right. Okay, I, I got it right. You see that? It's 107 and 15 16 so That's pretty close to 108, and this measures out 137. So now it is scaled in the scale of 1 foot equals 1 foot within Chief Architect to get the idea. Now, in this CAD detail window, I can go File, Send to Layout, and I have a layout, uh, I have a layout file open, and I wanted it a half inch scale on this particular layout sheet. Now, I'm going to, I'm not going to send it to page 10, that's the one I showed you earlier, I'm going to send it to the next page, 11, and uh, I'm going to uncheck that. I, I, I used to use this all the time because I wasn't very aware of it, but in this case, I'm just going to uncheck that and let it make a copy of the active layer set, which is layout layout set 7. I'm not going to get into lay, layer display, I mean, <clears throat> layer management, but I've got this scale the way I want it. I've got it pointed to its destination where I want it, and then we'll click OK, and it should park it on page 11 of this layout, and there it is. Uh, not interested in that. You're welcome to read that on your own time. Now, so that's 
I scaled it in a CAD detail window, and I did that because the CAD detail window is at a scale of one foot equals one foot. I scale this image using the scale tools with it provided in chief, and scaled it to one foot equals one foot, so that I could then send it to layout at a half inch scale, and it would actually arrive in a half inch scale on this uh, 24 by 36 inch sheet. And if you don't understand what I just said, then you probably ought to hire me instead of trying to do it yourself. Okay, yeah, that, I'm measuring again. Yeah, this is a, an architectural D sheet. I just measured it as two foot by three foot. And so this nine, this nine feet here uh, at a half inch scale, you know, would be uh, four and a half inches tall here. Let's just check that out. Again, we'll use this tape measure tool. That would be about four and a half inches. Look down at the taskbar. Well, okay, it's five inches. No, I measured too far. There it is. Okay, four and a half. So it, it actually scales out on this scaled. That's what, I don't know what 137 is. That's what, 11 feet something. Anyway, you get the idea. I scaled it at one foot equals one foot, and then when I send it at a half inch scale to a particular paper size, then it arrives there. And that's the point of this tutorial, and that's the steps that you take in order to take a bitmap image and scale it in cheap and then send it to a layout sheet at a scale. Thank you for your kind attention.